So, I have here my Arduino Uno, this one, and I want to program it. But instead of doing it using the standard Arduino development environment, I'm going to do it using Visual Studio Code. So first we need to install Visual Studio Code, which we can do by heading over to code.visualstudio.com. And I'm on Windows, so let's choose Download for Windows. And it's been downloaded, let's wait for the download to finish, and then let's install Visual Studio Code. Great, so Visual Studio Code was installed, let's run it. Great, so we are in Visual Studio Code, let's now create a new folder, which I'm going to call Arduino Workspace. And for simplicity, I'm going to place it on my desktop. Now, back in Visual Studio Code, we need to open the Extensions tab over here, Extensions. And here, we need to look for an extension called Platform.io. This is what we're going to do to do our Arduino development. So, Platform.io. And as you can see, the first option is Platform.io IDE. This is the one we want, so let's click on Install. Great, and it was installed. I already had it installed before, but if this is the first time you installed Platform.io on your copy of Visual Studio Code, you might have to restart Visual Studio Code. Anyway, after you restart Visual Studio Code, you're going to have this icon here on the bottom of the list, Platform.io. So let's choose it. And here I'm going to choose Open. And we want to create a new project, so I'll choose New Project. First, we need to name our project, and I'll just call mine Arduino Example. And now we need to choose the board that we're going to use. As I said before, I'm using Arduino Uno, so I'll click over here, and start typing Arduino Uno. And the list got much smaller, and here we can choose Arduino Uno. And as can be seen from this list, the only framework that is supported for Arduino Uno in Platform.io is Arduino, so that's what we're going to choose. Arduino. As for the location, you can use the default location, but I want to use my Arduino workspace folder. So I'll uncheck this box, then scroll down a bit, and I'll choose my Arduino workspace folder, which is on my desktop. Here it is. And let's scroll down a bit more and finish. Now, the first time you're using a new framework in Platform.io is going to take a bit longer, but eventually it will finish, and then you will get a screen like this one. And over here, you can see some basic configuration of your Platform.io project. So over here, we can see our Arduino example folder, which is where our project is located, and the folder that we care about the most is the source folder. And this is where all of the source code is going to be located. So right now, we only have one file over here, the main CPP file. So our project is basically ready, and we can start writing our code. As an example, let's create a blinking LED example program. So let's head over to docs.arduino.cc. And here, under Programming, I'm going to choose Built-in Examples. And here, we can find the Blink example. So let's scroll down to the very bottom of the page, and here is the code for this example. So we have here the setup function and the loop function. Let's copy the code for the setup function. And let's get back to Visual Studio Code and paste it in our setup function. And let's do the same thing for the loop function. And once we're done, let's build our project by clicking on the check icon over here in the bottom. And we got a success message, which means that our project was successfully built. Let's now plug in the Arduino board. And all we have to do is upload the program to the Arduino itself. We do that by clicking on the arrow icon over here, next to the build icon.
And we got another success message, which means that the program was successfully uploaded to the board. And if we now take a look at the board itself, we can see that our LED does blink and turns on every other second.